And and we are live. Oh wait, I didn't. Did I monetize it? I don't think I monetized it. Oh well, I'll go back and monetize it later. Uh, what's up, you guys? Uh, so let me uh, let me just make sure everything's working here. Cool, cool. I think I think it is. I think I think everything's going well. So. This is uh, Maricela Siquiero. Hello, hello, Dramatic Gaming, Andy Someta. I am watching you. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, what's up, guys? I did not schedule this. This is just a random live stream. I was going to do it earlier, but then I saw that like five other people were live. <laughs> um, a lot of Josh and uh, uh, I don't know a few other people. Um, but uh, but yeah, I am uh, I'm bored out of my mind. <laughs> I am so bored, guys. I've listed stuff. I've sold sales or sales are okay. I'm doing decent on eBay. I'm doing pretty good on Facebook marketplace. Um, it's just, I'm just so bored <laughs> all the time. Uh, froggy flips. What's up, man? Here's Lynn. What? I have a wrench. Yeah, you do have a wrench. You do have a wrench. Uh, for those of you who are appreciating my new background here, this was designed by the one and only Emily Conway. Uh, I hope she's, I hope she's here today because she deserves all the love in the world for this. So just give you a full breakdown. Let me scoot over a little bit. So this I feel like a weather guy over here. We have a tornado for obvious reasons. Okay. You top of your screen right here is going to be uh, some mug root beer with no signs through it. And that is uh, a shout out to one of my first videos called this one thing ruined my life. If you have not seen that video, please go watch it. It will be a treat treat for you. And then of course we got the onions off to the side over here uh, because I love onions and you know, bury the onion thing. Uh, did I get a green screen? Yes, I did. I've had a green screen. I just didn't use it very much. Uh, so Emily, thank you so much for designing this wonderful, wonderful green screen. I really appreciate it. Uh, if anybody else wants to take a shot at it, uh, go for it. Go for it. I have, I will, I will try to use it. Um, let's, what's, what's this say? Looks, looks like an Emily Conway original. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you say hi to your fans in Columbia, South America? Hello fans in Columbia, South America. I hope you guys are doing well. I have uh, friends in Honduras, South America or Central America. Uh, and they seem to be doing well. Honduras has taken this thing super serious. Like they close gas stations, grocery stores. Uh, one of my friends who lives in Honduras, um, Basically, they were opening up a grocery store for like seven hours one day, and it was supposed to be open at 7 a.m. He got there at like 5.30 a.m., and there was already like a line of 30 cars there. And then before you got into the store, they were spraying you down head to toe with like some chemical disinfectant or whatever. And then you got 20 minutes to get in there, get your stuff and get out. And it was it's intense, but I don't last I checked, I think they had like 100 cases or so in the whole country. So maybe it's working. I don't know. Uh, so let's see. I miss the smell of my goodwill. <laughs> Jason Cleghorn, 1975. Hey man, uh, me too. They should, they should bottle it, put it in, uh, put it in a spray bottle. Root beer is delicious. Root beer is not. Root beer is terrible. Dr. Pepper is way better. You know, I love Dr. Pepper and I cannot stand root beer. And for two drinks that are kind of similar in taste, you'd think that if you like root beer, you'd probably like, or if you like Dr. Pepper, you'd probably like root beer. Uh, but it's not the case. Root beer is terrible. Uh, Jason Goldsberry. Hey, you'd be proud. I've sold a, I've sold a million on Amazon lifetime, but just, uh, oh, the chat just loaded. Where'd it, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Sold a million. Okay. I don't know where it went. Where'd it go? Sold a million on Amazon lifetime. But I just listed my first Goodwill shirt on eBay. That's awesome, man. Uh, I'm curious to know what your profits are on a million on Amazon. People that do that kind of, that those kind of numbers on Amazon probably have fairly small margins. Um, so I'm curious. Uh, oh, reselling Rolo is here. What's up, man? What's going on, Josh? Hope all is well. All is well, man. I really can't complain about anything. I'm just, I'm going on like two weeks now of being at home for the most part. Uh, my wife is, she's like staggered her work schedule. So she worked like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then she's off. Yes, was today Thursday? She's off 
I don't know. She's off a lot. Like she's off yesterday and today and this weekend. And then she doesn't go back until next Wednesday. So we have all this free time and we can't do anything. <laughs> it's just like, what in the world? I'm trying to get her into geocaching. If anybody knows what geocaching is, uh, it's an outdoor activity that probably is pretty safe. It's like something you do on your own. You don't have to do it with a bunch of people. I don't really want to. Basically, you just use an app and get, you find GPS coordinates and there's like a hidden container when you get to those coordinates and then you can, uh, it's kind of like a puzzle. You find the container and once you do, you open it up and there's like a log, you sign your name and some of them have bigger um, like prizes and stuff you can trade and stuff. I don't know. Pretty cool. I feel like it's a pretty fun social distancing activity if you want to get into that. Uh, just something to get, to get you out the house, I guess. Uh, Cedric Edwards, 499 Super Chat. I've always wanted to do this. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, Big Drift, challenge accepted. I just need dimensions to create your background. Uh, it's the same as a YouTube thumbnail. So whatever whatever that is. Emily Conway, she made it kind of like a square. She put two root beers down here as well, but I can only, it's like, I don't know, like a 16 by nine or something like that. It's tip, typical rectangle. <laughs> Uh, my coworker, uh, here's Lynn says my coworker went ge geoing, geoing. Uh, yeah, I've never been before, but I looked, I downloaded the app yesterday and it's, there's like two or 300 caches in like my immediate area within like three miles of my house. Uh, Lisa thrifting queen, $2 super chat. Love the background, Josh. Thank you, Lisa. Uh, she's, I gave her, we did a channel review of her the other day. Uh, let's see what she's up to here. Go to channel. She's up to 114 subscribers. That's pretty good. You guys, you guys really helped her out. And she just posted a view, uh, a video, what sold for the month of March. No views yet, uh, but well, good luck. Good luck. Thank you so much. I was about the thrift stores. Julius Pritt. I have no thrift stores where I live. What should I do? Um, well, most of us are in that same boat. Either our thrift stores are closed or we can't go to them or shouldn't go to them. Um, you can source on Facebook Marketplace. I've had a lot of, I've had pretty good luck sourcing and selling on Facebook Marketplace. One-on-one uh, -on -one meetups aren't that dangerous. Um, I, I'm selling a lot of like pull-up bars and I just usually, once I meet the person, um, I usually just spray it down in front of them so they can see that I'm sanitizing it and uh, just wash your hands before you, before you touch your face again. Uh, Facebook, a lot of people are just sitting at home on Facebook board. So you post something they need, like workout equipment. Um, if you got a shake weight, you know, the shake weights that everybody made fun of because of <laughs> obvious reasons. Uh, now those are actually selling pretty well because it turns out it's an actually a pretty good arm workout. Uh, so if you have one of those sitting around, get it listed. I'm sure it'll sell on Facebook. Burgundy sells $10 super chat. We most likely have some checks coming from Uncle Sam, so I'm doing my part to help stimulate the economy, the economy, loving the green and root beer sucks. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's a great point. Like if we, uh, you know, we're, we're probably going to get about that $1,200 mark uh, per adult. So if you're married, um, like our situation, we should be getting $2,400 uh, from the government, which is cool. Uh, we, we're probably going to save some of that. We'll probably save like between 1800 and 2000 of that. And then the other four to 500, four to 600 dollars we'll probably spend um, maybe on a Nintendo switch, maybe on an Xbox. I don't know. I don't, I'll, the only video game system I have right now is an Xbox 360 and there's not very many games for that. So it's a little frustrating, but, um, but yeah. So once we get those checks, I'll be doing my part to help stimulate the economy. And if anybody, any of you guys have a used Xbox three, uh, Xbox one for sale that I could buy from you and support you, uh, let me know. I saw a lot of Josh did that in one of his videos the other day. He uh, needed some computer speakers and he said that if anybody has computer speakers for sale, let me know. So I think that's a really, really good idea. Anything you need, put it in a video, ask people if they have it and so you can buy from each other and support each other. Uh, Jason Goldsberry says profit margin is around 37%. After all expenses and employees, it's a million lifetime, not a million a year. Cool. That's awesome, man. Um, I don't know how long you've been doing it, but I mean, a million dollars is still cool either way. Awesome. I, uh, I have not been into Amazon that much. I think I have like four products at FBA warehouse right now and I don't do merchant fulfilled fulfilled. So 
Switches are high price right now on eBay, float and flip. Yeah, I found one yesterday on Facebook Marketplace. It was four hundred dollars, and it was. She said she bought it last week and just played it a little bit, and then she wants to go back to PC gaming. It's four hundred bucks for the Nintendo Switch, the V two, which is the newest one, and she had like ten games, like Animal Crossing, Super Mario Bros, Luigi Mansion, like all the good stuff. And I almost bought it. I almost bought it because I could probably flip. I could flip the Switch for about four. 430 to 450 by itself and then each game maybe 30 to 50 bucks uh but i don't know it's it's a weird time to be investing 400 dollars in a in a in a switch right now pool time pickers jealous that you guys are getting 1200 i don't think we'll get any uh yeah i think if if you make more than i think singles is like ninety nine thousand dollars a year and married like i don't know i don't know something like that if you make more than $100,000 a year, you don't need $1,200 anyway. Uh, so, 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 oh, Lotto Josh, got some sweet Bose speakers en route from a viewer now. Is that someone coughing or dabbing? Uh, I'm going to say coughing for now. Uh, that's awesome. See, you got some like Bose, like those are really awesome speakers. And now you get to um, you support one of your subscribers. So great idea, man. If you guys are not subscribed to a lot of Josh's channel, you should do that. Uh, here, let me, uh, let me share my screen, share screen, screen two. All right. This is going to throw me off for a second. A lot of Josh, boom, go to channel. Uh, a lot of Josh is one of my, one of my best friends on YouTube. He just did a live, uh, ended 13 minutes ago. Um, he's just a really cool guy. Full-time reseller. He used to be in the military. He went to West Point, uh, just a, a cool just a cool down-to-earth guy 14.5 thousand subscribers it's got some clout got a little bit of clout uh so if you guys have not subscribed to him yet be sure to go be sure to do that he's a he's a cool cool dude okay i'm gonna get back to Alexis KT Enterprises, $5 super chat. Well, hello. So glad to catch the live. All the best to you and your family. All the best to everyone in the chat and worldwide. Alexis, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Uh, YouTube income has definitely been down this month. Last month was really good. I'm probably going to do a video next week about uh, like my the breakdown on my YouTube uh, income from February because um, it was really, really good in February, but March is not so good. So I definitely appreciate all those super chats. Um, some coughing. A lot of Josh, you're the best. You're the best, man. Scroll up, please. Men flips. What did you say? Did you have a question? Uh, Burgundy. Okay, so Burgundy sells. Got I got I got all the super chats covered. Um, oh wait, men flips. So this has been my best week on eBay so far with a little over 1700 gross. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. This was like my video yesterday. Yesterday, or Thursday, Wednesday was my best day on eBay ever. Uh, crazy, crazy world. It wasn't, uh, I just think it had a lot of luck to do with it. Like a lot of higher dollar, like, like I think a, a $50 pair of shoes and a bat and the skateboard and the printer. I think it was just good timing. Um, I haven't been listing except like, I've been listening to a lot of stuff lately, but it's not very high dollar items. I did list a coffee pot, a coffee maker today for 250 bucks. It's a commercial one. It picks up a Goodwill for $22. So hopefully that sells soon. Um, but got our fingers crossed on that one. A $14.99 super chat from RV Limited Flipper. What's up, man? I miss a lot of Josh's lives. So Harry, you have to split this with him. Hope you guys are staying healthy. I will split it from him. I, I will. I will give Josh $7. Well, I'll split it after the YouTube, YouTube takes uh, 30%. Ready, set, resales here. LOL, that green screen. Yeah, man. I can change it to other stuff too. I just don't know. I don't know what. The only other ones I have saved are my puppy one uh, from my first live stream. And then uh, I did this one. This is my office, but it's cool because if I wrap myself up, I can like, I can make myself disappear if I cover myself in something. Oh, like, like this mat. Oh no, I dropped my Alexa. Here's something that one's asking. Is this even worth it? Okay. So yeah, I can make myself disappear. Kind of. This thing's not completely green, uh, but yeah. 
that wasn't worth it at all. Gosh, I have so much stuff on my desk. Uh, kids flipping. Why do you think YouTube has been down since most people are at home? Um, so I talked about this on, I did an interview with the guys over at Pure Hustle podcast. Uh, I think Mike, Mike in Orlando. Um, and I talked about this. I think there's so many content creators making videos right now because that's all we can do. Uh, and I just think it's, it's almost like inflation in the market. Like, even though I, I try to have YouTube going all the time and like videos going all the time, it's still hard to watch everybody's. So, um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. For me personally, my views are down. I'm trying. I don't know that I'm doing anything differently. Um, I don't know. I think YouTube is just kind of like a roller coaster as it is. It's uh, kind of like sales. So some months are going to be better than others. That's just part of the the beast. Uh, but it is kind of frustrating. Like if when you have a really good month and then you continue doing what you were doing and then it's not nearly as, as lucrative. Uh, so I don't really have a good answer for that other than there's just a ton of videos to watch right now. And I just don't think people have the time to watch them all. Darren's fun finds do super chats come to you with your normal YouTube pay. Yeah. YouTube pays you once a month on the 21st, unless the 21st falls on a weekend, then they pay you on the, the first business day after that. And uh, it just gets pulled into it's just one check from YouTube. Um, okay. So pause for one second. I did say I'm going to do store reviews or channel reviews. Um, so, and I don't want to, I, I don't want to charge for this. I'm not charging any money, but I do want to give, uh, the people that have been so kind as to send super chats. If you guys would like me to review your store or channels, I will do that first. I'll give you first priority. Um, but I'll also, when I do this, I don't want it to be only people that pay. So maybe I'll do one person that gives a super chat and then one person that just wants one or whatever. Um, and I do want to preface this by saying I'm not a professional. This is just my opinion. I've only been a reseller for like a year and a half. I've only been on YouTube for about a year. Um, so I'm not, I'm not saying that, you know, what I say is, is set in stone. This is just my opinion. So uh, if any of you guys that uh, uh, Dana, Mike, Michael, Mikhail, Thanks for still providing content much needed now. Thank you for the $2 super chat. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah. Okay. RV limited flipper wants a, he said channel or burgundy sells to, said too. Okay. Okay. So let me, I'll do. So. Okay. So RV limited flippers asked first. So I'm going to do his first go to channel. Let's share the screen here. All right. First of all, why am I not subscribed? Frick man. Okay, subscribe. Everybody go subscribe. He's at 80 subscribers. We can get into 100 for sure. For sure. Cool beard, man. I have seen your videos before. I just haven't subscribed. I don't know why. Uh, thumbnails on point. I like these that have the most of the writing on the left-hand side, like, like we talked about the other day. Um, I would say maybe not make it so busy. Like this one is a little bit busy in my opinion. You've got you know the selfie. You've got the screenshot of the item. You've got RV Limited. Like your logo, you got an eBay, you got Amazon, you got a, a dollar sign face or whatever. Um, so it's just a lot to look at. I'd, I'd, I'd maybe simplify that down a little bit. Again, just my opinion. I don't know anything. Uh, okay. So these are all come through with me. So it looks like you're, you're combining a couple things like uh, gaming and thrifting. I would say the best advice I ever received on YouTube was to, if you, if your goal is to just have fun with YouTube and you don't care about subscribers or growth, you can do whatever you want. You can make whatever videos you want, but if your goal is to grow on YouTube and build an audience, you need to pick one topic and make all your videos about that topic. Um, so if you want to do thrift, I mean, you can make multiple channels, maybe make a gaming channel and then a thrifting channel. But if somebody finds a thrifting video from you and they subscribe to your channel, and then the next video you make is a gaming video, they're not going to watch that. And they might unsubscribe because that's, you, you want to make sure that when somebody finds you and they subscribe, they know why they're subscribing. And every video you make after that is feeding that desire that they had in the beginning, if that makes sense. It's a, a very wordy response, but you just want to make sure your all your videos are about something. Um, my channel is obviously about reselling. I, when I first started, I was going to do reselling and like furniture flipping because that was kind of reselling related. But I made like two videos about that and it, they didn't really do well. So I just went straight eBay reselling. Um, 
generally the, the more specific you can get, the better it is. So like there are channels like only eBay and then there's some people that do eBay and Poshmark. And if, if you do eBay and Poshmark, the Poshmark viewers aren't going to watch the eBay videos and the eBay viewers aren't going to watch the Poshmark viewers. So the more specific you can get, the better. Um, Amazon and eBay kind of go hand in hand, kind of. Um, but again, if you can specify all your videos down to one of those, I think that would be better for you. So, uh, cool deal. Cool deal. Your banner is interesting. Uh, I might put some words or something up there just to let people know what you're talking about. Um, also something I've learned recently is making a, um, so like this is your homepage on YouTube and it's just your uploads, like your videos or whatever. And it's okay. But if somebody clicks on your, your channel and they come here, it doesn't really, you don't really know what to watch. You know, it's just like, you can just take your pick. Um, so on my channel, when it open up a new tab here, this is something I learned from uh, Nick Nimmin. Oh, let's go to my channel here. Okay, so in my channel, I have my banner, which says thrifting, eBay, garage sales, reselling. That tells people exactly what my channel is about. I have my name, two new videos every week, which I'm pretty I'm sticking to pretty well. And then I have like my live videos popping up here because I'm live and then uploads. But I also have popular uploads. You can add like playlist to your home screen. So instead of people going through my most recent videos, which haven't really performed well, like in in relation to my past videos, like 5,000 views, 9,000 views, 4,000, um, they can go to my popular uploads and they're like, oh wow, this one's got 161,000, 136. So when they watch these, these are generally performing better. And so they're much more likely to watch these and then subscribe to my channel after the fact, rather than if they watch you know, maybe this one, and maybe this one isn't, isn't as good as these. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just newer. Um, but having these extra playlists on your home screen, give people, it shows people more options of videos to watch. I also have a playlist for my reseller reviews. So people can say, oh, Rally Roots. He did an interview with Rally Roots. Let's go watch that. Um, so yeah, just adding playlists to your home screen helps a little bit. All right. So let me go back. To, um, okay, cool. So everybody go subscribe to RV Limited. Flippa. All right. Look, I got some super chats here. Let me, let me go back and see who, see who that is. Okay. So that was, we got Dana's. Um, rummage for riches, $5 super chat. Here you go. Store review rummage for riches. Okay. We'll do that. Uh, and I don't want to do it. I don't want to do this forever. <laughs> Maybe like an hour and a half or so. Um, so I'll try to do a cutoff once if we get like any, it, you know, a, a big influx of people wanting to do it. Um, and then flip with Chris, please review mine at flip with Chris. Uh, Chris, just let me know if that's um, your eBay store or your YouTube channel. Uh, and Alexis KIT Enterprises, $10 super chat. I'll skip the review and cash in my two 15 minute coaching calls this week. Uh, Harry Tornado will be the tops. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I will have, I, I have plenty of time. So I'll be happy to chat with you this week. Uh, all of my old Patreon members, uh, I still owe a bunch of coaching calls to you because you guys never scheduled them. So I, I owe you two. I owe Dumpster Diver Dad one, I think. Um, so yeah. RV Limited Flipper sent another 999 Super Chat. Thanks, Josh. That advice was worth more than half of 15 bucks. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, again, this is just my advice. I'm not claiming to be a professional, uh, but I do... I am really excited about reselling in YouTube. And when I get excited about things, I obsess over them. So I've spent a lot of time uh, watching other content about YouTube and reselling. So I'm happy to share my humble opinion with you guys. So I'm, and I'm honored that you guys are willing to pay for that. Uh, uh, Bolo buddies uh, came in a little late. How do we get a channel review? I will give you one for free because you have been a long time watcher of my channel. Uh, so I'll do yours in just a uh, couple minutes. I think I have a few ahead of you, um, but you don't have to super chat me or anything. Okay, so, okay, we got RV. So the next one was uh, uh, Joey Bada Bing. What's up, man? Glad to see you here. Uh, where is it? Where? Okay, there's Dana. Okay, Burgundy Cells. Burgundy Cells, review my channel. Trying to grow, but not uploading frequently enough. Uh, yeah, that's tough for me right now, man. Okay, sharing the screen. Bam. Okay. First of all, I love your banner. Pretty cool, man. eBay flipping, thrift stores, yard sales, burgundy sales, thrift, family. Perfect. Wouldn't change a thing. You could 
Oh, maybe add, maybe do bigger picture. Like if you take this picture here and like make it bigger and put it over here so people could see more of your family, um, that would be cool. Am I getting some of my phone? No. Uh, but that's cool. I like the banner and I like that you have the little links here. Not a lot of people know how to do that. Why am I not subscribed to all these people? 263 subscribers. Cool. So you got your little um, welcome to your channel. That's really cool. A lot of people don't have that. Love your thumbnails. Thumbnails are dope, man. Like I, I, I can appreciate how much time it takes to make these like bright thumbnails. I love that you're sticking with a common uh, color scheme. That's something to help with your branding, which is really important. Um, really cool. Really cool. Uh, so uploads. Popular uploads. You got the you got this going like the popular upload uh, playlist on your homepage, which is awesome. That's awesome, man. So let's see. Let me go back to let's see your videos. Let's see how many videos you have. Okay. So, so your first video was two months ago. 89% like 17. Let's go like this one. Bam. Maybe that'll help you out a little bit. Um, I like that you switch from the red. The red is just kind of, I don't know. It's not really eye catching. I like the, I like the newer ones a little bit better. Again, that's just my opinion. Um, you're definitely, I can see you growing. I can see that you're putting more effort into your thumbnails and stuff nowadays, which is awesome. Um, so this is a live, let's play some games. Um, how to grow your retro video game collection, top video game franchises to sell for profit. Flip for a profit. Okay. Um, so, so like this one, top video game franchise is still for profit, 107 views. And then this one, let's hang out and play some, play some games, only 50 views. So this got half of your, half the views of this video basically posted about a week ago. Also, this one has a hundred percent like ratio and this one has 93% like ratio. So it's showing me that people that come to your channel are going to want more of the flipping and like profiting off of video games more than, you know, watching you play them. Uh, I don't know if, I don't know what this is. Yeah, this is like a live stream of you playing. Um, so again, I would maybe start another channel and just keep the Let's Plays on there. Start a Twitch account like a lot of Josh did. Um, you just want to keep, if if your channel is really going to be about eBay flipping, thrift stores, yard sales, you shouldn't put any videos on it that are that don't have anything to do with that. Um, so just, I mean, you can, you can do whatever you want, but they're just not going to perform as well as we can see from the statistics here. Um, I mean, I think... Let's just, let's watch this one and see. You can turn a couple of video games into a whole stack of video games without spending any money. I've grown my own collection without spending any personal money. There's a bunch of tips I want to go over with you guys, so let's just get started. What's up, everybody? Burgundy Cells here. Wait. Okay, that was real talk. Like, I'm going to be honest with you, that was probably one of the best intros on a reseller channel I've seen. And I know how, how much time that takes to do stuff like that. I know the background music, trying to get that get that right. I know the cutting. That that was really, really good. I'm, I'm digging that. I really, really appreciate that. Um, honestly, dude, I think it's just I think it's just timing for you. You've only been doing it for two months. Um, I think you just need to to chill, <laughs> just keep making videos and uh, kind of lower your expectations down a little bit. Um, I think my growth was a lot faster than normal. Like I think most people can agree with that. Uh, I think for most people to hit a thousand subscribers is probably going to take them about six months if they really hustle doing two videos a week, really putting themselves out there in the community. Um, so you only been doing it for two months and you're already up to 250 or whatever subscribers. Um, I think that's pretty normal. And I think if you keep making your videos and keep getting better, um, just stick with the consensus, consistency, uh, you'll definitely get a nice following for sure. For sure. Your production quality is very, very good compared to most people. Uh, okay. Got that. Um, there's someone who's cooking those. Okay. We've got burning cells. Um, Flying Ryan, I don't know you, but you said, would you review my store? R-S-E underscore sale? Sure. Let's do that. 
ebay.com slash usr slash rse underscore sale who is who is texting me right now stop texting me no it's an offer i got an offer on a backpack hold on one second i need to accept this because it's it's listed for 40 and they offer me 35. I love that. I love when you get offers like that. Thank you so much, Robert. Accept offer. Bam. That is such a reasonable offer. I love it. I'm going to send that guy a thank you note. Okay. All right. Screen. Here's the screen. I'm just going to make it full screen. You guys don't need to see my face. Okay. So we are at uh, RS, RSE underscore sales uh, eBay store. Um, they have 20 positive feedback, one neutral. That's fine. I had a neutral feedback on like the third thing I ever sold. It's fine. 55 items for sale. Let's see all your items. Uh, okay. So you're taking your pictures like head on of the shoes, which isn't bad. You, again, this is all just my opinion that you can do whatever you want. I probably wouldn't do this. I would either go slightly off center, like from the front off to the angle or completely from the side. This is it's important to include a front on picture in your listings, but I probably wouldn't make it the very first one. Um, it's just not a very flattering angle for shoes. Um, so this is cool. This is the new listing, 120 bucks. Oh, you emailed me today on this. I remember that. Um, it looks like on these, you're using that eBay feature where it cuts out the background for you, but it left a little bit of shadow. Um, on my shoes, I don't use the eBay feature because it just doesn't do a very good job right now. Um, so, and I don't think a white background is that important. So i like this one. It's, this one's fine. Um, again, I just make the, make the main picture square and do it from an angle on the front. Um, that. yeah, I've noticed a lot of your, a lot of your pictures looks like you're taking them on your phone and you're taking them, uh, here, let me add my face, add my face again. Where, come on, come on. Okay, so it looks like you're taking your pictures on your phone like this, and there your phone is set to like rectangle mode. Uh, if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, you should be able to turn your pictures to square mode, uh, and then you can still take your pictures like this or like this, and either way they'd be square. So a lot of your pictures are coming out like you're seeing like rectangular like this um, with those white bars on the side, and if you set your phone to square mode, that'll take care of that. Uh, Ryobi charger, Halloween. Uh, the VCR, uh, first of all, selling a VCR for 20 bucks plus shipping. I probably wouldn't mess with it, man. I'd probably just take the listing down. Uh, by the, by the time you spend time and energy packing up that VCR, finding a box for it, using bubble wrap, um, worrying about it getting busted. It's not going to be worth the $20 to you. Um, I don't mess with VCRs unless they're at least like 50 bucks plus shipping. And I'm even questionable on those. Um, so just take it from me. I've sold many, many cheap VCRs in my day and it's not worth your time. Uh, and it's probably not going to sell anyway. Uh, ooh, spooky Wishmaster. Uh, Game of Former Magazine. Um, yeah, I mean, I would just work on your pictures. It looks like most of your titles, you're just uh, copying, like copying from other listings, which is fine. Uh, I would just work on your pictures and maybe just work on your sourcing. It looks like the stuff you're selling is just, um, you know, pretty cheap stuff. Um Again, that's a picture of the shoes where it doesn't really look, I'm going to make it bigger here. doesn't really look ideal with the way that the, like the little stuff that's left in there from the eBay thing. Um, so I wouldn't bother with the eBay thing. Shoes are a great seller. I would just make sure you're, um, I don't know, selling, selling stuff that's going to be worth, worth your time. Uh, ten. So yeah, that's my, that's the only thing that I see. Just work on your pictures, more professional pictures and work on, uh, just selling better things. Like I'm okay with a lot of people say they don't sell anything if it's under like 20 or $10 or whatever. Um, but I look at how fast it'll sell. Like that webcam I sold yesterday, I sold it for $10 free shipping, which was not very much money at all, but I basically got it for free and it sold within like two hours. So that's fine for me, but I'm not going to sell something like, um, I don't know, Game Informer magazine for $10 plus ship. I don't know. I just don't think that's going to sell anytime, anytime soon. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. But, you know, like this $4, you can ask a lot of Josh. Uh, individual DVDs are not the move right now. 
Uh, so yeah, work on your pictures and work on just listing just better items um, or items that sell faster, selling faster or selling for more money. Uh, okay, so let me go back here. Uh, shloop, 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 shloop. Okay, we got that. No content here to review. Is I'm about to... uh, Dana McCall, are the reviews for today? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, let me review. You got it. eBay, don't want to store you those. So, okay. Um, okay, so we got the two super chat. We got the Lexus super chat. Um, flip with Chris. It's okay. Flip with Chris. You sent another super chat. You didn't have to do that. Oh, let me let me go back. Oh man, you guys are so nice. Okay, flip with Chris. Another one nine nine super chat. It's flip with Chris YouTube channel. Okay, uh, I'll do that next. Uh, and then we got another super chat from Oops, I sold it again. One ninety nine. Didn't even say anything. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Um, and then Burgundy Sells sent another five dollar super chat. You didn't have to do that, man. It was included in the first, but I appreciate it. Thank you. A cute little fox emoji. Oh no, what happened? Okay, we're good. Hey, what? You going outside? Okay. Uh, Emily. Oh no, I took the... Emily, Emily, wait. Wait, I took my green screen away. <laughs> okay, there we go. I'm using it. Uh, Big Drift, 199 Super Chat. I finished your backdrop. It's in your DMs on IG. Let me see. Zoo, zoo, zoo. Okay. Okay. All right. Let me save guys. One second. I gotta, I gotta get this. I gotta get this to Harry tornado. The only person I ever email is myself. Attach file images, Instagram, that one send one second. One second. Oh, Moe's come here. You want to say hey to everybody? Come here. Come here. No, don't yell bark at me. Okay, he doesn't. I don't want to knock my green screen down. Um, okay, got that. And that's inbox. Not that one. Did I send it? Yeah, I sent it. That one's it. There we go. Download. It's downloaded. And I'll go to green screen, add background, add this one, open, save. Done. Look at that. We got a That's What She Said. Dunder Mifflin. We got The Office. We got, what is this? Uh, Michael Scott's Dunder Mifflin, Scranton, Meredith Palmer, Memorial Celebrity Rabies Awareness Pro and Fun Run Race for the Cure. <laughs> and we got Prison Mike. Uh, Prison Mike. <laughs> Just his eyeballs. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, this is awesome. Okay, let me go back here. I'm sorry. Sorry. Big Drift, Allison. Thank you. Thank you. This is incredible. Uh, okay, no mail in Canada. Harry Tornado, I'm a big fan. Can we be friends from Joey? Who is Joey Bada Bing 22? I don't even know who that is. Mose, oh, gosh, guys, Mose wants to go outside. Hold on one second. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Phoenix Flippers, Matt, Tesla Fun, bro. You don't have to do anything for me. Thanks for all you already do. Uh, Phoenix Flippers, we'll definitely take a look at your channel, man. You've been hustling uh, longer than I have. Uh, so you definitely need a little recognition for that. Um, okay. Okay, back to the dishes. Okay, sweet. All right, who did I say I was going to do next? Um, okay, flip with Chris. Flip, flip with Chris. Go to channel. All right, so let's share, share my screen here. Flip with Chris. Cool, cool thing here. It looks a little uh, like fuzzy. It looks like you took a really small picture and like put it 
put it here. It's a little fuzzy. Maybe that's just my eyes or something. Um, maybe upload a, a higher resolution resolution image and get a little bit more crisp up here, but it seems fine to me. Subscribe, turn on all notifications. Uh, 231 subscribers. Uh, very, very bright, colorful thumbnails. I would probably say that maybe too bright and too colorful. Again, just my opinion. Uh, it just seems like there's a lot to look at. What sold on eBay last week and one big mistake. Um, one thing I would say we talked about in the last video is these black timestamps are going to be on all of your thumbnails. So I wouldn't put anything in this bottom right hand portion of your thumbnail that's going to be covered up um, like one big mista. One big mista is covered up right here while on locked. Uh, the OWN is covered up. The death pile shrinking is a little bit covered up. So just make sure you're not putting anything super important on that section of the thumbnail. Um, so let's see. What's your, how many videos you have? Okay. You got a good number of videos. Looks like your first one was two months ago. Uh, let's see, 47 views, 148 views. Get free retro video game consoles now. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Five minute hauls. Um, yeah, I just, I generally think, I mean, what do you guys in the chat think? Do you think these thumbnails are too bright and too colorful or just bright and just colorful enough? Again, this is really just about personal preference. But if your goal of your YouTube channel is to grow and develop an audience, you need to pick things that are, um, that, that are fun and like you can put your personality into it, but you don't want to turn people away. It's kind of like that show flea market flip. If you guys have ever seen that, like the people that are really like eccentric, like they make, they take a table and turn it into like a flamingo sculpture or something. And then they get surprised when it doesn't sell it's because there's while that's cool to them and cool to a lot of other people in the world, the chances that they could sell that table uh, to someone in New York on one day is very, it's very limited. So you want to make sure that you're, your thumbnails are fun and exciting, but also not over the top. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so nobody is nobody's saying anything in the chat. At least I don't see anything. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It just some of these seem a little bit too hard to hard to read. Uh, you want your thumbnail to be eye catching. Um, and something that's going to make people click on your video. Uh, let's check out one of your videos here. Let's just watch this one. Good morning, guys. It's Chris. We are going to be cool. Chris, wear your seatbelt all the time. Too much going on. Oh, wait. Chris, I'm so sorry. You were wearing your seatbelt. I couldn't see it. <laughs> Kimmel, Kimmel. The breast pump, but he reached out to me and said, breast pump. Okay, so first thing I would say is that uh, if someone clicks on your video for the first time and they don't know who you are, they don't know your personality or anything like that, you need the, the very first like 10 to 15 seconds of your video is what's called the hook, I guess. And that's when you really need to, I'd say you really need to. Again, it's totally up to you. It's your channel. You can do whatever you want. What I try to do is tell people what the video is about in a really exciting way. Like, what's up, guys? My name is Josh, also known as Harry Tornado. Today, we're going to a bunch of yard sales. It's a crazy Saturday. There's a ton of sales out there today. I hope we're going to find some cool stuff. Stick around. And that tells them like who you are. It's really fast. When you when you talk fast and energetic and keep things high energy like that, it makes it harder for them to get bored and click off. Um, so try to make the first couple seconds really exciting. Cincinnati Picker and Garage Flips, sometimes they they don't film an intro and they just film the whole day. And then they take a really cool part of the day that happened and like just play that in the beginning. Like uh, Cincinnati Picker, all of his, almost all of his videos are as they start out with him at a yard sale and he's like, would you take 300 for all of it? And then bam, it goes to his intro that I made by the way. And then it goes to the rest of the video. So it makes you curious, like what was he going to buy for 300? Is the guy going to accept his offer? So he's taking he's really taking advantage of that first couple seconds, which is why his channel has grown so much. It's almost like TV, you know, TV, like they're like storage wars, which is totally fake, but they're like, 
they open it up and they're like, oh my God, look at that, look at that. And then it's a commercial because they know people are going to wait around for the commercial, like the eight minute commercial, and then come back to find out that they didn't really find anything in the storage unit. Um, that's just how TV works. So you want your channel to kind of work on those rules of, of TV, you know, give people something to keep them interested, but also not like clickbaity or anything like that. Um, if the, if you're, if the first five minutes of your video is just you sitting in a car, talking to a camera, your, your, your retention rate on that video is going to be very, very low. Um, because pe unless people know you and know you as a person and enjoy your personality, they're probably not going to watch that. Um, at the very least they'll skip through into something more exciting. Yeah, this video seems like it's mainly you just sitting in the car, um, which is fun, you know, if that's what you want to do. But I think if you want to get, um, it's got 20 likes, no dislikes, so you're obviously doing something right. Um, but if you want to build up an audience of people that, um, I don't know, build up a significant audience, you need to have some some something exciting happening. Very few people are going to watch a 15 minute and 10 second video of you just sitting in the car talking about garage sales. Um, again, just my opinion, just my opinion. So cool, cool. Flip with Chris. Hope that helps, man. I appreciate your support. All right, let's see here. Okay, got that. Um, okay, so then we go back to Rummage for Riches. Their eBay store was Rummage for Riches. So let's... Let's go there, ebay.com, uh, usr slash rummage for riches. Okay, add this. Uh, okay, so we got a few super chats here. Let me look at those. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Okay, we got the Phoenix Flippers one. Uh, okay. The nurse flipper sent a $10 super chat. Thank you so much, cat. Awesome advice. Josh soaking it up. If you have time to do my channel, we'd much appreciate it. Sure. I will jump on that. And then old man picks $5 super chat. Hey Josh, hoping for a store review. I know I need to work on a banner. Uh, and then your storage link. Okay, cool. 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 All right. So, so this one is rummage for riches, hundred percent positive feedback. That's awesome. No neutral, no negative. Sick, man. That's awesome. Okay. Let's visit store. Uh, 30 followers feet. Oh, featured items. Let me go. To, why is this? Hmm. All right. So let me items for sale. Zero results. Why am I seeing zero? What? I don't understand. Am I missing something here? I don't understand. Visit store, featured items. You got a, a Dead Man collection, hardcover, slip, sard, slip cover edition. Um, all, all listings, one of one results. You only have one listing. Color mates, hand painted enamel brooch. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Let, let, me, let me go back to the chat here and see. Oh, Bola Buddies, you didn't have to give me a super chat. Thank you, though. Um, oh, Rummage for Riches. Oops, I'm restricted for three days, so you won't be able to see anything. Maybe next time. Okay, for sure. I'll definitely do this again because uh, there seems to be a lot of interest, uh, and I really enjoy it. So, yeah, we'll get you next time. Again, uh, I'll remember your name, so you don't have to give me another super chat or anything. That's fine. Um, okay, got that. Josh, Lisa. Okay, so let me get rid of this. Oh, man. Oh, no, I got rid of my... The YouTube. Guys, I'm so sorry. It's really hard to do all this by myself. I need an admin. Haley could help. She's just laying in the yard. It's really hard to do all this by myself. Uh, turn the volume off. Okay. Maybe they didn't start eBay site yet. Okay, let's, 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 let's I do need a sidekick. I do. 
Okay, old man picks. There's flipper. All right, so let me go back to these. Oh no. Did I miss them? Phoenix flippers. Oh no. Okay, there were two people that gave me super chats that wanted store views. That there was one of them was Rummage, and the other one was somebody else. And I don't remember who you were, and I can't scroll up that far anymore. So can somebody remind me? Or if, if you have given me a super chat and I said I was going to review your whatever, um, I, I know for a fact there's one up there that I can't see anymore. I guess I need to go faster. Okay, Bolo Buddies, I saw, I saw yours. This was like way, <laughs> this was way back. Um, yeah, it was... Okay, I'm I'm so sorry, but if you're the person who I'll go back and rewatch that part uh, when the video is live, and I will try to uh, I'll, I'll include you in the next one or something. Um, okay, I got big drift, Phoenix flippers. Let's go to let's go to um, let's take a look at Phoenix flippers right here. Their YouTube channel. Bloop, BK vending and flipping. Okay, first up, yeah, I, I know you changed your name to Phoenix Flippers. This is is Matt. He's a good friend of mine. Changed his name to Phoenix Flippers. He used to be BK vending and flipping. Um, so you just want to make sure you go ahead and update your banner as well, because if somebody didn't know what was going on, they'd be really confused um, seeing BK vending and flipping and then seeing Phoenix Flippers down here. Um, so just make sure these these match the. It it looks fine to me. BK vending. I mean the. The font and everything up here looks fine. It's eye-catching, cool colors. Uh, nothing going on there. First vending purchase, success or failure one year ago. Uh, this is like your highlighted video. That's fine. Um, uploads. I show you how to ship shoes. I show you how I ship shoes easy. Um, so one thing I would say is if, if you have thumbnails and you want to put text on top of, of your thumbnail, I would just make sure that the that the words pop out good enough. Like this red writing on this, like on over the brown cabinet, it's just kind of hard to see. And then this white writing right here just kind of blends in with the glare on the cabinet. Um, if you let me go back and show you some of mine here. Uh, do 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 do. Um. So like when I take my pictures in the office, I purposely make them really dark. I turn off the lights behind me that you can't see because uh, I, I want this area of my thumbnail to be as dark as possible. So this yellow writing really pops off. This picture wasn't quite as. Um, actually, I remember I put the I put staying positive on here in yellow and the yellow was over my light shirt and it kind of got drowned out a little bit. So then I just put a black rectangle behind it. Um, but yeah, see this, I don't even like this one. I don't know why I did the dumb cardboard thing. It doesn't even look good, but video got 37,000 views. So I guess it looks okay. Uh, this one was almost on the verge. Like it seems like a little bit of it is kind of drowned out. Like it's kind of hard to see, but I still kept it there. Um, so yeah, just to make sure if you put even the, the 700 for one from yesterday, I almost put a black uh, rectangle behind that because I thought that was kind of bleeding into the background a little bit, but I left it. So just make sure that um, anytime you put writing on your thumbnails, that it's easy, easy to read. You got to think that I think over 80% of people that watch YouTube videos are watching on their phone. They're not going to have a huge computer screen, uh, like looking at your thumbnail, your thumbnail is going to be very, very small. So if you, if your thumbnail is already small and then you add a bunch of writing on a background, that's hard to see it on. Um, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's not going to get a lot of views. I don't think. Um, oh, this one. Oh, let me set a reminder. Um, Sunday live hangout chatting. How much money can I make from candy machine in my own house? Um, let me see. Let me go to your videos and see your most popular. How, how to ship a tennis racket that I sold on eBay. 796 views. 
Um, so that's just a good example of a video where people just, that's a common question people have. How do you ship tennis rackets? Anytime I talk about a tennis racket in one of my videos, I get somebody asking me about it. So that's, that was a good video to make. That's uh, what I would call an evergreen video that the interest in that video, people searching on YouTube for how to ship a tennis racket, that video is always going to show up. Um, so the videos on that or the video views on that video are just going to keep going up. Um, how I ship a golf club or baseball bat. Hopefully this helps. Um, good video topic, but I wouldn't put hopefully this helps in the in the in the title. Um, I treat my YouTube titles like book titles, so I, I I capitalize every first letter of every word. So I would say how I make this a capital. Um, a is fine. Golf club or baseball bat or is fine. I wouldn't put a period. I don't know if it matters. I just I don't like like I like this title. My kids purchase machines. I don't know what the video is about, but I like. It's short, sweet, to the point. It's all capitalized like a book title, no period. Just looks better than something with a period. Um, and you can go back. A lot of people don't know this, but once a video is published, you can go back and change the thumbnail and change the title to anything you want. Um, the only You can even edit the actual video, take out parts and add audio and stuff. Um, so on these, I would go back and just maybe change the thumbnail or make it something more intriguing. Um, a lot of your thumbnails here are pretty basic, but these are also your most popular videos. So um, I don't know, maybe maybe try to work on your thumbnails, do a little bit of this, uh, research and figure out how to use an app like Canva, C-A-N-V-A, to make some thumbnails. Um, also, one thing I've seen you do, I haven't seen your recent videos, but if you notice, there's a little watermark in the corner of all your videos that says made with KineMaster. Um, and that's because you use KineMaster to edit your videos and you're using the free version. Um, I would say that if you want to take your YouTube channel seriously, you need to buy a video editor. If I'm watching somebody's video and I see that watermark in the corner, that just screams amateur. It, it shows me that, I, I feel like I'm being harsh here, but it, it, it's, it tells me that you don't take yourself serious enough to pay 20 bucks for KineMaster or whatever it is. I use PowerDirector on my phone. It's $4.99 per month. Um, so it's just, it's an investment, man. It, it just, it's going to make your videos just that much more professional. Um, just not having that, that, that thumbnail, that uh, watermark in your thumbnails. Um, you're definitely consistent. I, I mean, you've been uploading videos for over a year consistently. Um, and you definitely deserve more subscribers than you have. Uh, I would say just work on thumbnails. Um, your thumbnail and your titles just need to maybe ask a question, just something that gets people curious. Um, like my kids purchase machines. I don't know. It's just, it, I'm not, I'm not intrigued to click on that video. There's not a question being asked. There's nothing interesting in the thumbnail. Um, so just, just work on that. Put something interesting. And in we talked, talked about in our, uh, a lot of Josh and I did a live show with Becky Park the other day, and we talked about how a lot of Josh puts a lot of arrows in his thumbnails. Like, I got this. This thrift store find was unbelievable, and it's like a screenshot of a thrift store and then like an arrow pointing to something. That creates curiosity. It makes people want to click on your video to see what you're talking about. Um, so just work on those. Work on making more intriguing thumbnails and titles, and and buy just buy Canemaster or buy some other uh, video editing software to get rid of that. Um, that watermark. So cool deal, man. Cool deal. All right. Let me back here. Where is it? Where is it? Where's, where's it? Uh, Shane Punam Punam says, what is this chat about? Anything you want, man. Anything. Contrasting. Burgundy cells. That's it. Um, well, did I sell something else? I sold something else. What did I, what did I sell? $52. What did I sell for $52? Guys, one second. I sold something. And I'm panicking. Oh, a backpack. Oh, and then I sold a puzzle. Sweet. Sweet. Two sales. Two sales in this video. Uh, okay. Smash like button. Thanks for all the advice. Old and epic store review. Follow buddies. Uh, okay, cool, cool. All right, so let's do. Um, okay, okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not overlooking everything, anything. 
overlooking everything. Let's do an eBay one right now, and then we'll do Bolo Buddies. Uh, this is Old Man Picks. Send a five dollar super chat. Hey Josh, hoping for a store view. I know I need to work on a banner, so let me go to uh, let me open this up here, and then share my screen. Do do do. The Old Man's Picks. Cool deal. Uh, banner. I don't know how important a banner is. However, I don't have a picture on my eBay store, like a like a uh, you know a thumbnail or whatever. And somebody the other day said, "Why don't you just put a picture of yourself?" Like it just. I'm, I'm a top rated seller, so I already have some. Um, yeah, I'm reputable, but I don't have a picture. And I, anytime you see a profile on any website and the user doesn't have a picture, it just doesn't, I don't know, it just seems unprofessional. So that's something I'm going to be doing this week, adding a picture to my eBay store, uh, a picture of me, just a, a friendly looking dude who looks like, you, you know, he's not going to scam you or something. And I think that will maybe help people buy more stuff, hopefully. Uh, featured items. I like this picture. It looks like, uh, Maybe, so it looks like you have maybe one source of light or one of your lights is uh, brighter than the other. So on this one, you see like from this side of the shoe, it's really bright. Oh, so on, on, I can't, I'm pointing with my hand like a dummy. One side of the shoe is really bright and then there's some shadow behind the second shoe. Um, I use two lights, two box lights like angled in. So there's very minimal shadows. Um, I think anybody that uses one light is going to have shadows on, on, shadows on all of their items. Uh, so I'd really recommend using at least two sources of light that are both equal in, in brightness. Um, otherwise, these uh, uh, these pictures are fine. You get the picture at the bottom. I would maybe include a picture of the, the tongue to show like the size tag or something in there. Um, Jersey again, that, that one side of that Jersey is kind of dark over there. Just if you're using two sources of light, you're going to have a nice white background. This would probably be something you could use that eBay thing for to, to get rid of the background on it. Uh, liquid soap gift set that should sell pretty quickly. Maybe in that listing and relist it. Uh, and it might sell today. Soap is selling pretty well. Um, all your pictures look square. That's good. Nice white background. Um, this shirt looks a little cattywampus, I guess. I don't know, make, maybe make sure. It looks like it's almost like bell-bottom jeans or something. I don't know. Lawn toss. Is this uh, lawn darts? That's the safe version of lawn, dart, lawn darts. Coffee mugs. A lid. I think your pictures are pretty good, man. I don't, I mean, other than adding some more light, I think they're pretty good. Um Your clothing pictures look pretty good. It looks like there's one light like really, really close here and not much light on the outside edges. So maybe maybe fix that. Um, yeah, as far as your store, I don't see anything wrong with it. If you're if you're wanting to make more money, um, like I said to the other guy, I would maybe focus on just selling higher dollar items. Um, most of your stuff like these Cole Haan. Um, I know Cole Hong just doesn't really sell well for me. I've got a bunch of them listed. I haven't sold a pair in, in months. I think they're just super saturated. Um, so I would just maybe focus on selling, I don't know, stuff that's going to sell for, for more money, I guess, if you're focusing on making more money. Pictures look good. Descriptions, I mean, the, the titles look fine. Um, yeah, I would just work on maybe sourcing more lucrative things. I don't know, like this tennis racket, 25 bucks plus shipping. I doubt that's going to sell. Uh, it might. I, but I doubt it. Um, a lid for a pot. Again, that's something that's really, really specific. And only somebody that has that exact pot missing a lid is going to buy that. I would, if you want to make more money on eBay, you need to get into selling things that a bunch of people want all day, every day. Like right now it's video games, um, cleaning supplies, stuff like that. Um, like these coffee mugs, $21.99 free shipping. Um, I don't know. It's, I, I don't personally sell coffee mugs anymore because I just don't like it. They sell for like 12 bucks, you know, maybe if that, and then most of them can't even ship first class. You'd have to put them in a box and then shove that in a padded flat rate envelope or something. Uh, but yeah, hope that helps you, man. Okay. I'll go back, 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 back here. Uh, okay. So I'm going to make sure I don't have any more super chats to cover. Oh, DLJ from PA is back. Hello, DLJ from PA. The Block Vintage. Mary, guys, 
Mary from the Block Vintage started a TikTok and it's pretty good. Maybe we'll review her TikTok on today's video. <laughs> it's pretty good. Go follow her. Uh, okay, so now we'll go to uh, Bolo. Oh, wait, we got a 10, uh, 999 Super Chat from Mark Kane. Uh, I used to sell jewelry, but sold out my business. Now I have started again doing clothes and home goods. Please let me know what you think of my store, Metro, Metro, Metrolina Trading. Okay, so we're going to do that. Let me write it down just in case um, it gets taken away. Uh, Metro. Come on, pin. Come on. Metrolina trading. Okay, we'll do that. All right, so let me go back to Bolo Buddies. All right, first of all, if you guys have not seen Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, you should. Uh, as you can tell from the name, it's all about Bolos. She does videos where she interviews other people. She goes over Bolos on her own. Um, she's just, if you want to learn about like products to sell on eBay that are valuable, you need to subscribe to her channel. I'm subscribed already. Got the bell notification turned on almost at 5,000 subscribers. That's awesome. Uh, this what sold Bolo garage sale finds a turn $210 into $4,872 flipping items on eBay. Cool title. It's probably it's 2000 views. It's your, your featured video. Uh, I would, I, the title may be too long. Uh, YouTube has the algorithm has like a, a good title length that it likes and something like this may be too long. So what sold Bolo? Uh, so maybe a better title would be like, I turned $210 into $4,872 flipping garage sale items on eBay. So that's slightly, slightly shorter title, but still all the pertinent information. You could also round up like, and ask a question in the title, like how I made $5,000 flipping garage sale finds on eBay. And that's a shorter title and uh, it asks a question, like how, how did I do this? I don't know, watch the video and you'll find out. Um, so yeah, uh, so on your thumbnails, I've found that thumbnails with people in it, like this this one right here, I watched this one recently because it's, um, the, I like the face in it. It was like, I found diamonds, Wow. Like, are those real? Like what, 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 what's going on? It's got your face. You act surprised. That's just, I'm more likely to click on a video like this than I am on a video with just words in the thumbnail. Uh, again, this is just my opinion. I don't know anything. This is just how my brain works. Um, oh, she did an interview with Emily Conway. Look at there. Uh, this one. What is that? That's a cool, cool thumbnail. It makes some, it's sparking some curiosity. What is that in the jar? I don't know. Better click the video and find out. Um, some, let's see, let's go to all the videos. Oh, your banner is cool. Bolo buddies, bio, sell high. I like it. I like it. Um, okay. Banners are cool. Again, I'd probably like stuff like this. I just think that's really busy. I know you're trying to like put a lot of information on there, but you don't have to put all the information of video in the thumbnail. You can just do a very, very short snippet. Um, this is just really hard to read, even on a computer. And on a, if somebody's watching this on a phone, there's no way they're gonna be able to read all that. Um, Bolo with an arrow, I like that. That's pretty good. Let's look at your most popular videos. Um, do not make the same mistake I made. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so in the reselling industry, I know a bunch of you guys can can back me up on this when you make a, a mistake, like if you miss out on something or you sell something that was worth a lot more money or anything bad happens to you, make a video about it because those things, those videos get tons of views. My friend Drew over at Profit Monsters made a video. It was called like banned from eBay, why, why my account was banned or something like that. And that got like 15,000 views. And normally his videos get like three to 500 views or so. People love misery <laughs> misery loves company or i don't know but uh usually if you have a video it's like i made a terrible mistake at this garage sale or don't don't miss these at thrift stores like i did or something like that that's generally going to perform very well because people people like seeing the other people make mistakes because we all make mistakes and when we see other people making mistakes it makes us feel better um but also it makes us curious about what mistake you made and how i can avoid it um I like your colors in the thumbnails. Again, I just maybe not put so much so much writing on there. Um, maybe cut down on the writing a little bit. 
Um, I like, I like generally thumbnails with people in it perform better. So this one one so, I mean, you got your face in this one, face in this one, face, 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 face. So a lot of your, I guess it's 50, 50, but on your channel between your faces and not, but I think if you start putting like your face in, in the thumbnail more, maybe on the, on the right hand side where if it, your face gets covered up by the thumbnail, it's fine. Um, try to make your thumbnails face on the right side with all of your writing on the left side of the thumbnail, cut down on the, the writing a little bit and um, make more intriguing titles, I guess. And that should give you a little uptick in views. Um, also, okay. So I'm seeing this bread and butter, bread and butter, bread and butter. Um, even though it's different pictures, like all these are different faces, you don't want people to see you upload a new video and then they can, you don't want them to think they've seen that before. So you, this one was two months ago and this one was two months ago. So these were uploaded pretty, pretty closely together. So say this one came first and people watched it and enjoyed it. And then you uploaded this one, which is a different, it's a different thumbnail, but it's similar. You don't want them, you don't want them to take a glance at the thumbnail and be like, oh, that's the same video I've already seen. And then they not watch it. So that's why it's pretty important to change it up a little bit. However, I mean, if you look at my channel, um, a lot of my, <laughs> a lot of my thumbnails are like that too. So it's a, a balancing a fine line between like branding yourself, like the yellow writing and, and, and thumbnails and stuff like that, uh, versus making sure people don't think they've seen that before, even though my face is in the thumbnails and the same font, it's not me holding up the same two items in multiple thumbnails. Um, so maybe just change that up a little bit. Uh, but other than that, I love your channel. You definitely provide a ton of information, ton of great bolos. Um, so yeah, that's all, uh, all I've got for you here. It, I would say, let me go back to home. Is that my, okay. This one, so you got uploads. Okay. So you've got your, 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 um, Playlist bolos by category. That's pretty cool. Bathroom bolos, kitchen bolos, Halloween bolos, pre-owned bolos, Easter bolos. Awesome. You've you've done a lot of work and you deserve more subscribers. Cool. Okay. So hope, hopefully that helped. Again, I'm just a, a dude. I don't know anything. What is this? Okay. Sold something else. Facebook Marketplace. Guys, it is just sales are good. YouTube is fun right now, but I'm still so bored all the time. Where's my reseller hangout? Okay. Okay. So Bola Buddies, thank you so much for that. Uh, nurse Flipper. Okay. We'll go to Nurse Flippers now. Go to channel. Did I get a 14? Let me scroll down here. I think I think I'm caught up over here. Carissa PZ, hello, hit that thumbs up. Yeah, I'd appreciate it. If you guys could hit the thumbs up on this video, that would be awesome. So Nurse Flipper, get a dolphin over here. That's cool. I like it. Sick. Click to subscribe. That's cool there. I've already subscribed. Um, source at home, make thousands. My method for buying all, on Shop Goodwill that I made thousands from last year. Uh, good title. I would just maybe um, shorten it a little bit and capitalize uh the words. You don't have to. Again, that's just what I would do. Um, so that Premiere doesn't have a thumbnail yet. Maybe check into that. $85 profit on one item. Shop Goodwill Jewelry Box unboxing. Over $400 in sales. Again, this stuff sells fast. So I know you've heard me say about the thumbnails before, which is why you moved it over to this side. So that's awesome there. Um, that's cool. Maybe a little bit too much writing in that one. Um, two nurses did what after work? Will she jump in? I like the thumbnail. I think this thumbnail would be better without the words. I think just a picture of a nurse jumping into a, a dumpster with two nurses go dumpster diving after work or something like that, or what did they find or whatever? I think, I think the the writing on this thumbnail takes away from it a little bit, uh, but it could be wrong. Um, gosh, what, what? Okay, I sold, I sold something else. Um, reseller chat, source at home, 6,000. List the items you have at home. No photo booth. That's pretty cool. Your eyes are very intense. <laughs> very intense. Uh, but it's cool. Make it part of your brand. 
Uh, where did I put that eBay storage and organization tips? So this video, like say, say you go to sell something one day and you can't find it. You don't know where it is. And that sucks for you because you have to cancel an order. But if you make a video called, I had to cancel an eBay sale because I couldn't find the item, that video will probably do very well because people, again, people want to see you fail and they want to watch your video and want to figure out what you're doing to stop that from happening, happening again. Um, so you got your playlist going, your popular uploads, your tips and tricks for resellers, your haul videos. Yeah. I love that. They're all like, if somebody subscribes to your channel and they only, only want to see your haul videos, they can go right here and know exactly what to watch. That's awesome. Um, let's watch one of your, let's watch this video. Um, so one thing I'm seeing, one thing I see with a lot of newer creators is that if you, if they use their phones to record, I don't know what you're using to record on, but a lot of people, when they record their phones, they look at the screen, like they look at their face on the screen instead of the camera lens. And it looks like that's what you're doing here. You're looking off to the side. Um, a lot of people I've noticed, uh, Mary from the block vintage, she has the Canon G seven X, which has the flip up screen on top of the camera. So in a lot of her videos, she's looking slightly above above the camera, which it's, it's fine. But me personally, I think it's best to look at the camera lens because you're actually connecting with the audience that well, that, that way. Um, if you're looking slightly off to the right or left or above or below, it just seems a bit off. It just seems like you're not really connecting very well. Um, Matt part-time pickers used to do that as well. I think when he was using his phone, his, his videos looked exactly like this, uh, and he still got a ton of subscribers. So, uh, again, it's not a one size fits all situation. It's just what I do. I try to, um, and you don't want to look at the camera lens all the time, like intently. Uh, it's just a good, a good balance. Like when you're confident and making a point to your viewer to get across, look at the camera lens. And then when you're, you know, just talking and getting to the next idea, maybe look off to the side a little bit. Uh, it's just small little things like that. that are the psychology of YouTube. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you have any questions about sourcing online. $11. I think it should be. I like this. So yeah, I think um, you're definitely consistent. You're definitely uploading a ton of videos, which is good. Um, I just think if you keep up that consistency and then try to just improve all the time, um, I watch, I know you watch Roberto Blake and Nick Nimmin and stuff like that. Just keep watching them and, and learn from them and you'll get better over time. Uh, your videos aren't bad. Like I said, it's, it's very good. You're probably one of the more consistent people I know. <laughs> like, I mean, you're doing basically daily videos. Uh, so that's awesome. So just keep going. Um, maybe cut down the text in your thumbnails a little bit, um, work on your titles maybe, and the numbers should follow. I mean, you're already up to 872 subscribers and your first video was really recently, wasn't it? One month ago, no, wait, no, three months ago. So you made your first video three months ago and you're almost at a thousand subscribers, which is well above average. And I think a lot of that is coming from um, you participating in live chats like this and commenting on other people's videos. Uh, so that's working out for you. I like this one. Uh, this one, I, I talked to Kimmy from uh, one thread at a time and I advised her that like looking at her videos, the thumbnails where she like did her hair and did her makeup and stuff like you did here, those typically perform better. Um, well, I don't, I don't know why it just, it just does. And she tried it on her next video and that video got pretty significantly more views than <clears throat> her last, which was just like a bun and glasses and stuff. So <clears throat> maybe take the time to if you have time, you know, do your hair, do your makeup for a cool what sold video or something and um, incorporate that glam into the thumbnail and it maybe help your videos perform better. Okay. And that one. Okay. Let me make sure. Right, let me go back to the chat here see what I'm missing. Um, okay. So I need to dress up. You don't have to dress up. It's just like, like if I, if I'm doing a video that I think has a high chance of going viral or whatever, like, uh, I don't know, like a what sold video, like 
30 items you can sell for over hundred dollars on eBay. That's something, a video I want to do. If I do that video, I'm going to take the time to probably not wear my hat. I'll probably actually do my hair. <laughs> Unfortunately, I hate doing my hair, but I'll probably do it uh, and wear like a button down shirt or something just so in the off chance that that video goes viral, people see me as a more professional content creator than just some bum sitting in a, in his office with a Dwight Schrute shirt on. Uh, let's see. Thanks, Josh. Uh, Emily Conway. Uh, let's do yours. Let's do yours. Go to channel. Go to channel. The blue. Subscribe for reselling content. I love that banner. It tells ex it tells your audience exactly what to do. Touching hearts and souls with humor, love, and maybe a touch of razzle dazzle. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. 691 subscribers. That's like doubled in the last month or so. That's pretty good. Uh, your thumbnails as always are, are on point. Uh, money in your thumbnails does extremely well. I'll, we'll look at something in a second after this. Uh, money does very well. 162 views, which pretty good, pretty good for your channel. Uh, $350 sale. Yes, please. What sold this week? That's awesome. Again, this thumbnail is great. I would just flip it, have your picture on this side and the money on that side and also put the money where you can't, where you can actually see it. It's cut off at the top. Um, so maybe just switch that thumbnail around. I love the contrasting colors, uh, how I shipped during the apocalypse. That's cool. Again, I'd put the words on that screen to avoid getting covered up by this. Uh, let's go to your videos. Sort by most popular. Uh, pros and cons of Facebook shipping. 1,000 views. This video performed very well because Emily found a common problem that people who are trying to ship on Facebook find. Facebook does a crappy job of explaining their shipping policies to you. Basically, like, I, I couldn't even figure it out. I just see somebody's address when they buy something from me on Facebook and I just go to pirate ship and, and ship it out. Facebook as they launched their selling platform without like if somebody wasn't a reseller, like if it was just some mom selling stuff, like it just, it wouldn't make sense to her. She wouldn't know how to do it. And there's not a, a number you can call to get Facebook help. So this is, I think that's why this video has gotten so many views because it, she made it shortly after Facebook started the whole shipping thing. And she figured out that it was complicated. So she found a complicated problem with no quick solution and then made a YouTube video about it, helping people. It's got a 91% like ratio, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Um, oh, and the next one, her two most popular videos are shipping through Facebook Marketplace. Uh, very interesting, <laughs> interesting thumbnail here. Uh, shipping through Facebook Marketplace. Uh, what the heck excited y'all. Uh, so may <laughs> let's look at this video. Sick hoodie. I appreciate that. New Facebook marketplace features. There's a lot going into this right now, and I don't. So I will. I will jump in and say here: if somebody, if somebody sold something on Facebook Marketplace and they couldn't figure out how to ship it, they went to YouTube and then searched how to ship on Facebook Marketplace, and they found this video. The thing is, when they start watching, they don't care about. Again, I'm being being mean here, but they don't care about you. They don't care about your son. They don't care about anything else. They only want the answer to their question. So if you're going to make a video about how to ship on Facebook marketplace, if you made this video 60 seconds long, just taking it right through the steps, like, Hey, you just sold something on Facebook marketplace and you don't know what to do. Here's what you do. You go to this on Facebook, you click this, this will bring out the shipping label. Then you open it up in a website called pirate ship and you hook up your credit card or whatever, like whatever the process is, just be clear and concise and don't give them any extra extra fluff or anything like that. Um, and now I know this is tough for you because you're trying to build your channel. You're trying to make videos for your subscribers, but a video like this, like shipping through Facebook marketplace really isn't for subscribers. Like this is for the, 
the public, the general public on YouTube, people that are selling on Facebook and they don't know what to do. So I think if you made another video, very, very short, like a minute, 60 seconds to 90 seconds long, telling people exactly how to sell, like ship an item on Facebook Marketplace, um, make a very simple thumbnail, your picture on there, you sold an item on Facebook, now what? Or some title like that to get them to find it through SEO. Uh, I think that video could get 50,000 views because there's a lot of people selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace right now and they have no idea what to do. So even though you probably talked about the answer to their question in this seven minute and 39 second video, they don't have time for that. They have a problem right now and they need an answer right now. So uh, you might get a lot of views, but I imagine your retention rate on this video is probably pretty low. Um, you can probably go and see that a lot of people are fast forwarding through it to see get to the part like this part where you start showing your phone. Um, I imagine on your on your timeline where it's showing people like your watch time, I imagine right here at this two minute and 30 second, 36 second mark, there's been an uptick in your views because this is what people are fast forwarding to. Um, okay, get that. Uh, so yeah, your thumbnails are on point. I would just make sure you're not putting anything in this bottom corner. Your banner is awesome. I love it. I love the picture of you up there. It's a good proportion, like a picture, like I was saying, Burgundy sells, his picture was kind of small. Um, a big picture like this is much better. Bulk box unboxing. I like that. I like the artistic aspect of it. Uh, yeah, I think you're going to crush it. Just keep making videos. Um, maybe do one a week or something. I, I think you're doing like, I don't know. I think you're doing like multiple times a week and you also are a stay at home mom and you watch other kids. Uh, so don't, don't try to kill yourself. Maybe just do one or two a week. Um, and just stay consistent. The music stuff is good, but at the same time, if you want your channel to be only reselling, then I probably wouldn't do stuff like this, or maybe put them at the very end of videos or something in the free selling videos. Um, making a video only that's just singing, uh, while very, very good, uh, it's not, you don't want somebody to subscribe to your channel for reselling, and then the next, next video uh, be you singing something. <clears throat> Man, my, I'm so thirsty. See if Haley, see if Haley will bring me a water. Oh, we don't have any waters. So never mind. Uh, okay, so let me get this one off of here. Let me go back. Go back. Uh, okay, nurse flipper. Do my YouTube's. Uh, okay, your color. Uh, Harry, uh, Bo uh, Bolo Buddies, can you show us what you mean on your video to see how someone fast forwards? Yes, I can. Uh, let me let me make sure I can get there though. Wait. Okay. Uh, so let's go to. Oh, it's it, you're not in you're not in camera. I can't reach it. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh. You left a little bit of the raspberry stuff in there, so it's pretty good. Haley, Haley actually did bring me water, guys. She's so nice. Okay. So you go to your YouTube studio. Who's that here? YouTube studio, and then your videos. Uh, so let's see. Let's look at this. Well, this one may not be available yet. Let's look at this one. Uh, analytics for this video and let's say engagement I think it's engagement so the video itself is 14 minutes and 53 seconds long the average view duration is nine minutes and 34 seconds which I means some people this is your audience for attention this is what I'm talking about on there so you can see uh, people start and then generally around 84 80 80 percent of people like click it and watch from the beginning and then it just slowly trickles off down there you can look for these slight bumps like bump 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 where people are fast forwarding to this video doesn't really have it and then once it gets to the 14 minute and seven second mark it drops off dramatically because people i probably start talking about like okay guys that's all for today's video and once you say something like that in a video people immediately just stop listening to whatever you're saying so it's important to not say something like that um, let's look at one that I know for a fact has a, um, has a large drop off or large 
drop off and pick up thing. Uh, where is it? Well, where, where is it? Next page. Okay, so this this is my most popular video. It's 161,000 views. And what? Okay, I'll be done in a second. Uh, so let's go to analytics on this one. And audience retention. Okay, so on this one, you see people start watching and then it drops off. And then right here, it picks back up that little pump right here. That's because the first two minutes of me talking on this video was about my new camera, which turns out uh, nobody cares about. <laughs> so that's that's one reason why I shouldn't have brought that up in this video. This this I this when I made this video, I think I was at like, I don't know, 3000 subscribers or 4000 subscribers or something. Most of my videos were getting two to three thousand views each. And it was I was making videos for my audience and a video like this $50 items that sell fast on eBay. That's a video that will appeal to a large audience, as we see from the fact that I got 160,000 views. Um, so the fact that I didn't immediately start talking about the bolos that made people fast, fast forward to the part when I did um, the top comment on that video is the video starts at this timestamp, like two minutes, four seconds. Thank me later. And that video has like that comment has like 170 likes or something. Um, so that's like an uptick. You can see basically you look at your audience retention and you look for dips. Like you, if there's a dip in your video, um, like I did one video where, um, where to, where to go, where to go. I don't know. I don't know where it went, but, uh, basically I did a video where I had like that Lumi advertisement in the middle of it. And that like the, the audience retention rate of that one was like flat and then it dropped down. And then after the Lumi ad, it picked back up. So people were just fast forwarding through that. So that is how you look at that. Um, where's my, where's my live? Where's my live stream right here? I'm live stream. All right. Okay. So I'm supposed to move. Do I have a video on stuff like this? No, because uh, my channel is about reselling. I should. I should make videos about this. I should have a whole new channel about this, but I don't, all of the YouTube stuff I know just came from uh, Nick Nimmin, Roberto Blake, uh, the book, um, YouTube secrets. I've read that like three times. Uh, I don't, I don't have any inherent knowledge that I didn't obtain somewhere else. Treasure hustlers. Why not edit the video now and cut that part out? Uh, fun fact, that video is like dead now. Like it's not getting any views. It's, it's so crazy how you can upload a video and it gets like, I think it got like 2000 views in the first two weeks. And then it jumped up and just started getting like a thousand views a day, like randomly. And it got all the way up to 130,000 views and then it started to slow down and then it hit 160 and then it gets, now it gets like three views a day or something. Uh, it's just, it's crazy. Uh, you can edit that part out, but it would, I don't know. It's just complicated. I'm not really worried about it now. I don't think it's going to get any, any more views anyway. Joey bought a 22. I sent you a super chat. It went away, Josh. I'm so sorry, Joey. Let's look at Joey's channel. You guys go to channel. I don't know how much your super chat was for, but I appreciate it. Nonetheless, Joey bought a 22 Goodwill store donation center, eBay, Joey, Joey, what are you, what are you doing? You got the eBay but you left the, the black and gray checker marks from the, the JPEG. Joey, Joey. All right, we got to fix that. I'll work with you to fix that. Your banner needs some help. The banner, it's not centered. At least I don't think it's centered. It needs some help. We'll, we'll work on that. Uh, 473 subscribers. That's really good for someone who's really new. Let me see when you're... So Taco Tuesday, seven months ago, Halloween. Uh, so one month ago, you made your first eBay video and you're already up to 473 subscribers, man. That's awesome. That's way better than anybody else I've seen. <laughs> uh, your face is awesome. Keep putting your face in thumbnails. People love your face. Uh, seven items. I sold fast dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar signs do very well. Please the dollar signs definitely increase your, your video watches views into cash 48 hours. What's the whole title? Great, great intro, man. I love the energy. I love the, uh, we like it. 
uh, it's just it's fun. You're a fun guy, which is why I think you're growing so quickly. 313 views. Um, I turned seven items into cash in 48 hours, dollars on dollars on dollars on eBay reselling. Um, I probably wouldn't do the stuff in parentheses. I don't know. Just thinking about it from like a SEO app standpoint. Um, you just want to make sure like your title is searchable. Like I, I use this thing called VidIQ. It's a plugin for Google Chrome. And it tells me like, like this video has a VidIQ score of 38.8 out of a hundred. Um, and it's just like, it gives you all these stats about, um, about your video and stuff like that. Title, it's the title too long. You've got tags, you got description, you don't have cards, you don't have an end screen. Um, it's just a cool, I would recommend you guys, if you have a YouTube channel, I would download this plugin, VidIQ. It's free. It's the basic version. I don't pay for it. It just gives you like a cool look at YouTube videos. Um, yeah, I think your on-camera presence is the best thing you have going for you right now. You definitely need to work on that banner. The banner is garbage. <laughs> I love you. I love you so much. Uh, work on the banner. Your titles your titles and thumbnails are fun. Uh, this one I made, well, that was your first video, so whatever. Um, Daily life of a mailman letter carrier on eBay. Um, the title, it's a cool video idea. Love it. Love it. Uh, the title is a little off the daily life of a mailman slash letter carrier on eBay. Um, you got to think of it like a, if you were scrolling through Netflix and you saw your thumbnail and title, would you click on it and watch? Think of it like that. So like, what would a better title be? Like my life, my life as a mailman, eBay seller. I don't know my life as a, how this, how, how this mailman sells on eBay. I don't know, just something. It's a hard thing to make a title for, but I don't think this is a good, well, this one, like this one, I would change the, I would capitalize the letters like a book title. Um, I don't know. Just clean it up somehow. I, I hate that. I'm telling you this, that it's not as good as it could be, but I'm also not giving you any feedback on how to fix it. It's just tough. You know, a good title and a good thumbnail, like you know it when you see it, but you don't, you just don't, you don't know how to, to bring it into fruition, I guess, all the times. Uh, but Joey, you're killing it, man. You're growing super fast, way faster than most people. Uh, just stay consistent, stay humble, stay happy, and you're going to make it, man. You will make it for sure. For sure. All right, let me go back to... Not... Oh, yeah, that's the one. Um, so it's appreciative and loving. Yeah. Treasure Hustler says Joey is so appreciative and loving and kind. It doesn't matter what his channel looks like. He's amazing for sure. Yeah. If you got a personality like Joey, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry about much. Tesla picker. I spend so little on titles and that's the most important part. If you want to grow, I need to do better. Tesla picker. Let's look at your channel. Zhu. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Is this it? Tesla picker. IG Tesla picker. Sweet. I like it. I like the grill. I guess that's a grill. Uh, cool font. Uh, you've got the Instagram thing here, but you also have it the linked over here. So uh, it's not bad. I would maybe make, I would maybe center it on the, on the thing to make it look not off, off to the side. But again, that's just my, uh, my opinion. <clears throat> 2.52 thousand subscribers. That's pretty awesome. Uh, we listing on eBay, my crazy kids, what's sold on eBay today, pulling from the, pulling from the death alive pile, another giveaway with son. Uh, yeah, that that's just a really long title. I'd probably make your titles a little bit shorter than that. Um, titling is probably one of the hardest parts of being a YouTuber, man. Like video editing is super easy. Yeah. The, the title and the thumbnail is really, really tough. Uh, I would, I would maybe cut down your thumbnail wording a little bit. Uh, I, I try to think, I don't know. I think like three words on a thumbnail is perfect. Cause you can make them big enough to where people can see them, even if they're on a mobile device. Um, so I don't know, just try to make your video and then get it edited and then try to think of three words you can put on your thumbnail to give the essence of what the video is about. Um, she said, name the price. We only take donations. Huh? I mean, yeah, huh? Like I, that's just, it seems kind of confusing. So maybe, 
You just want something that kind of tells people what the video is about. Uh, popular uploads, 3,000 views. That's your most popular. Had to go back to this estate sale. Cool face. Your face is like going back to that estate sale. I like it. Uh, had to go back to the estate sale. Um, again, I think this thumbnail, just your face is good enough. Like, I don't think you need writing on the thumbnail to do it. Um, shopping at estate sales, bruh. I like that one. Arrows. Arrows do very well. Arrows point at something. Especially something like that that's not hard this hard to read. People might click the video just to see what that says. Uh, that's interesting. Did you get did somebody think you were a criminal or something? Making a nice living selling on eBay. I love selling on eBay, making a living reselling online. Yeah. That's a good a good topic of a video. It's just again, you just gotta clean it up a little bit. Like um, I have a video kind of like this it's called like i'm definitely not going back to a real job and that thumbnail is just me smiling with a bunch of ebay packages in my car behind me which is basically the same picture here um so if you had like a bunch of ebay boxes back there and then the title was you know how i make a full-time living selling stuff on ebay or something like that i think it would have got more views than than <clears throat> than current currently keep it simple stupid not you stupid that's an office reference kiss keep it simple stupid Hurts my feelings every time. Uh, but cool channel, man. Cool. I want to watch some more of your videos. All right. Let's, uh, I'm going to wind this thing down here. A minute, an hour and 40 minutes. 130 people still watching, though. I really appreciate that. You guys are awesome. Nurse Flipper sent another, another $10 super chat. Please review Flippin' Flamingos for my super chat, Josh. I'm having good sales if you can't tell. All right, where's Flippin'? Okay, Flippin' Flamingos. Let's do their channel here. Boom, boom, boom. Flippin' Flamingos. Let's go ahead and subscribe. Blam, 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 blam. I had, the, I had her written down on my paper here the other day to subscribe, and I didn't do that yet. I'm so sorry. Uh, come see what we sold with fun bonus footage at the end. Um, I, I, that's something I probably wouldn't put in a title. Like it's just, it's not necessary. Um, again, guys, titling is super hard. Like it's, it's probably one of the hardest parts of YouTube. So don't feel bad. Uh, Renee's reseller reality. That's something that might, that might get views among your own audience, but a random person who doesn't know you that finds that video is probably not going to watch it just because it doesn't. It seems really personal. Renee's reselling reality. Uh, like who's Renee? I don't know who Renee is. Um, you want to title something that appeals to your current audience as well as something that's going to bring in new audience members. Um, so let's see. What is your most popular video? I like the banner. Flipping Flamingos. Is the FLA capitalized because you're in Florida? I think you're in Florida. I think I talked to you the other day. I just wanted to buy some bubble wrap. We bought, we bought everything she had. Um, I probably, again, with the titles, just make them more neat. Um, you know, capitalize the letters, make them shorter. Again, the vid IQ thing will tell you title too long, tags too short, description too short, no cards, no end screens. Um, download this plugin, vid IQ for Google Chrome. It'll help you out a ton. Uh, the title is too long. Um, something maybe like I went in for bubble wrap and walked out with all this stuff. And then maybe the thumbnail will be a picture of you in your driveway with like, I don't know, 12 of these plastic containers. So people are like, wow, she went in there and bought all this stuff. Why did she buy so much stuff? Was it good stuff? Did she get a good deal? That's a lot of stuff behind her. I need to watch the video to see what all stuff she bought. Um, like my video the other day, I did the, um, um, where, where is it? Where's it? Where, last video I did with, I took, yeah, my thumbnail was me and my dog and all the packages I had going out. Uh, my dog wasn't even in the video. I just, I was trying, Haley was trying to take a picture of the thumbnail with me in the packages and Moe's kept being in the picture. So I was like, well, whatever. Cause dogs, if you have a dog or a woman in your thumbnail, uh, they typically perform better overall. So having a dog in there, bam, uh, not very good though. Ranking by views, nine of 10. Uh, it's not performing very well at all. So go watch that video if you haven't yet. Um, okay, let me go back. Flipping, is this, where did flipping flamingos go? 
Is this it? No. That's Bolo Buddies. Tesla. Flip and Flamingos. Okay. Uh, all right. Let me go back. Um, you never know what's going to sell on eBay. That's a pretty good title. I would just capitalize the letters, the first letters. Um, I don't know. Also, your first video was only three weeks ago, so so you, you shouldn't have everything figured out by by now. Um, yeah, just keep going. Just keep learning as you as you go. This is a good thumbnail. You lay on a bunch of stuff. That's interesting. That's one of your second most popular video or something like that. Um, so yeah, just research and just get better with time. Like you're going to, you're going to learn something new every time you edit a video, every time you upload a video. So just keep, keep going, keep trucking along and you will become a YouTube master in no time. Uh, okay. Thumbnail talk, bruh. Oh, Commonwealth picker. What's up, Kevin? Thanks for coming on guys. Let's look at, uh, Let's look at Kevin's. Let's look at Kevin's channel. If you guys have not subscribed to Kevin's channel, you should. He's an awesome guy. Awesome sales. Just hit 10,000 subscribers recently. Uh, this is one of his channels. Uh, picking garage sales with an eBay rookie part two. Hustled by a little girl lemonade stand. Um, okay, cool. Cool. So Kevin's really good at titles. Uh, made an eBay sale to a museum. That's really awesome. I'm super like, what did he sell to a museum? That's really cool. Easy to find quick eBay flippers. Everybody's curious about that. Um, eBay Christmas sales in March. He's asking a question in the title. Um, I found it's better to either capitalize all the words in your title or capitalize just the first letter in each word. Um, not capitalizing anything just doesn't really perform well. Um, these eBay sales make a lot of sense right now. That's a good title. Um, Garage sale where I met my match. Arrow. Again, arrows perform very well. This is it. Look at this. Okay. I'll show you. Okay. This is his most popular upload. 72,000 views two months ago. Garage sale bundles. Buy it all and get a great price. That's a great tip. People are wondering what he bought. He has money in the, in the thumbnail. Uh, I bought it all. People are wondering what he bought. Um, the only thing I would have changed about this is mirror it. Like put her over here, your money over here, and the letters over here. Um, also see how the, I don't know if you can see, actually, I'm not even, guys, I wasn't even, I wasn't even sharing the, the screen. Oh my gosh, I'm so dumb. Uh, put, <laughs> okay, okay, sorry guys. Okay, so let's start over. <laughs> This is Commonwealth Picker. His name is Kevin. This is one of his channels. He hit 10,000 subscribers recently. Uh, he's a great guy. He makes great... <laughs> Guys, I just wasted so much of my life. Okay. Easy to find. Quick eBay flippers. Cool title. All capitalized. Um, some of the writing is a little bit lost in the background. Um, you know, Some of the yellow is, is falling on that white. So maybe not do that. Uh, but other than that, great, great title. These eBay sales make a lot of sense right now. Um, made an eBay sale to a museum with an arrow. Bloop. Arrows do very well. What is that, Kevin? I don't know. You got to click the video to find out. Um, this is the one I was just talking about. Garage sale bundles. Buy it all and get a great price. Uh, great thumbnail. Money giving to somebody. Some lady with a dumb look on her face. Trying to think if she wants to take all this money for all the stuff she has. Um, this is another one with the arrow loop, pointing to a lady showing a lot of cleavage, 21,000 views. Look at there. Look at there. Uh, another arrow. Bam. Another arrow. Bam. Kevin, master of the arrows over here, man. Arrows do well. I'm telling you. In a couple months, when you guys start seeing all these resellers with arrows in their thumbnail, you know who to thank for that. Uh, so, yeah, Kevin's got a great channel. Go check him out. Uh, not really much I can tell him because he's doing a great job as it is. So keep it up, man. Good job. Okay, now I can take it off. Uh, and then let's look at... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys this. I've talked about it before. It's not a surprise or anything. Share this screen again. Uh, Mr. Beast. If you guys don't know who he is, uh, he's 
like some dorky guy in North Carolina that just has taken over YouTube. He just does all these crazy videos. I gave a hundred, I gave a million meals to people in need eight minutes ago, eight minutes ago already has 283,000 views. Uh, Mr. Beast makes a ton of money on YouTube. He does a ton of, a, a ton of cool stuff for people. Um, so just subscribe, just watch his videos, like his thumbnails. Look at that. A million uh, canned foods in the background. Um, He's just really, really good at titles and thumbnails, simple titles, telling people exactly what what's going on. And then the thumbnail just gives a really good visual representation of a million meals. Uh, very, very good at YouTube. Uh, OK, so let me go to. I'll show you got Kevin. Kevin used that thumbnail for um, with the money, giving the person the money. This is Garage Flips. Lonnie, I'm sure all you guys know him. If you go to Lonnie's videos, you go to sort by most popular. Literally, <laughs> almost all of his his all of his top six videos, giving money to people, giving money to people, giving money to people, giving money to people. Look at all this money I found in the CDs. Look at all this money. Look at this money. Giving money to people. I got robbed. This garage sale find something. Gross Q-tips. But you see his top seven videos on his channel, 1.2 million views, 288,000 views, 256,000 views. It's all just screen grabs from his from his clips for the garage sales of him giving money to people. He has realized that this has performed well. So now anytime he makes a garage sale video or a sourcing video, uh, he did this a week ago, giving money to people, giving money to people, giving money to people, giving money to people, giving money to people. That is Lonnie's. That's his, that's what he does for thumbnails and 20,000 views, 84,000 views, 37,000 views, 157,000 views from a week ago. Uh, yeah, Lonnie is really good at YouTube. Um, but again, this is, that's how simple it is. I couldn't stop buying at garage sales. This is why I love garage sales. Do we have a deal spent $3,000, but I'm not worried. Like he's all of his titles are short, sweet to the point thumbnails, giving money to people. It just works. It freaking works, man. It's as simple as that. Don't overthink YouTube. It's simple. It's simple. It just takes time and consistency and a likable personality, I guess. Uh, behold our God, Lonnie. Oh, Lonnie. Okay, so let me go back to the chat here. Emily Conway, LOL, giving money to people. Got robbed. Turns out I was going to give it to him anyway. <laughs> that would be a fantastic video title. Uh, okay, so let me... Gosh, no one knows to video some of that content is outsourcing in the future. Yeah, for real. Slacking. Mr. Beast is the best. Uh, Sir, so using arrows also. Hey, what's up, Rev Resale? Thanks for joining in, man. Uh, okay, guys, so I've been going for almost two hours. I uh, hope you guys like this. I super appreciate all of you guys joining in and watching and listening to me give my really humble opinion. Uh, again, I'm not a professional. Please don't take anything I said to heart. Don't listen to anything I said. Um, but I enjoy talking about this stuff, and especially at a time like this when I don't know what kind of videos to make. I appreciate you guys joining in and super chatting. That's super appreciative. Appreci appreciated. That's the second time I've said appreciated. Um, you guys are the best. Thank you for watching. I love you. And uh, we'll do this again next week, probably. It's pretty fun. See you guys.